All right, I'm Mark, and the article I'm reading, or summarizing rather, is called The Nanny Found Beating Her Children. It's from about two years ago. And yeah, it's about a nanny who was uh, beating the children she was in charge of. There's a mother named Amanda Hancock, and she had two children. One was 11 months old, and the other one was about eight. She came home one night to find that her eight-year-old had a black eye. So she grew suspicious, as I guess any mother would, and she installed what we now refer to today as a nanny cam. Uh, upon watching the video of what the nanny cam caught, she found that her 11-month-old was being beaten by the nanny. The nanny had taken one of them balls like you get at Walmart, that all the little torch bounce around. She took one of those and kicked it at the baby's head. She grabbed the baby by the arms, threw it in its little pack and play, and she uh, proceeded to swat at the kid many times. I mean, not spanking the kid, actually swatting the kid. So the parents took the video and showed the cops. They ended up uh, taking the woman to court. In, uh, in the state of Florida, the max she could get was 15 years. She ended up getting eight years as she pled guilty. And she's uh, serving that right now, in which she's getting seven years of probation afterwards. The parents said that the saddest thing about everything was they considered this woman to be a close friend, mm -hmm. as it was a woman that the church they had attended recommended to watch their children. Damn. Mm -hmm. Since then, uh, there's been a few websites that have came up to prevent things like this. KnowYourNanny.com is one of these websites. And when you go to KnowYourNanny.com, they have cameras and whatnot that you can install. And they even have a nice one where you can get an app for your iPhone and you can watch the video live of your nanny beating your kid. Jesus Christ. Uh, as far as the 11-month-old, no permanent damage was done, thank God. Uh, there was a few bruises and a busted lip, but other than that, nothing uh, major happened. Uh, the aftermath of it, the parents said that it's really hard to trust anyone right now because someone that the church recommended ended up beating their kid, so it's hard to trust anyone, and then in the end, the parents hope that this case that they have prevents any future case like this from happening. Thanks. Thank you. Nice work.